So that was basically the final product of Kuda and I's one button game. And the one button game assignment was for, um, was for us to create a game or an idea for a game that would require only one button to play the entire game, which for our case and most other people's case, it's the space bar. Um, real quick, the rules of the game for us was for our little character um, to get through the asteroid belts and the rocks through that little gap, which is always changing, um, to also dodge the asteroid belt or the asteroid that comes down um, and to grab as many star pieces as you can. And throughout this game, there's kind of a two, two scoring system going on. Every time you get through the passage and dodge the rocks, you get a point. Dodging the asteroid itself does not get you a point. So by getting a scoring point, you have to get through that little passage and to also every star you get, you get a star or star piece you get, you get one more point. So that is the rules of the game. And I just wanted to talk about uh, Kure and I's creative process for this game. So from the very beginning, uh, we weren't partnering up just yet. We had our own ideas, our own assets, but we ended up or when we partnered up, we decided to adopt her idea because as you can tell, for me, it was a no brainer because Kurea's animations or graphics are just top notch. She is extremely talented, like 10 out of 10. They are, they are well made professionally done. So like I said, no brainer, we went with Kurea or Kurea's assets. And then we also went with her idea because um, she was inspired by I'm sure you could have t you could have told tell you told I don't know I'm sure you could have known that the it was kind of resembled Flappy Bird a little bit. Um, she, when we were given the assignment, she instantly thought of Flappy Bird as it was one of the few games she's actually played. Especially it was because it's a one game assignment. I, she was inspired through that, so that's what we chose. And moving forward, we the assets were all created. Um, through Illustrator and as I said earlier Kuda is extremely talented and what makes this even better is that her animations are so good I think that it's better than Flappy Bird honestly and for for a game designer I'm sure are we all are we we know it are sorry we it doesn't matter what we think in the end it, all that matters is what the player thinks and I think any player would be so stoked just by looking at this and would appreciate the game because it is these these graphics are top notch so i'm gonna go one by one through the assets um we've got the background uh we've got a bunch of stars that fade with a gradient nice you know eye pleasing colors throughout all the animation or graphics i keep messing up honestly but um the the asteroid the star, the shooting star, and the character. And something that's interesting about the character is that when gravity's pulling you up, um, while you're not touching anything on the keys, it's just constantly pulling you up and you'll always be the character on the left. But as soon as you press the space bar to go down, you're gonna change to the character on the right. And to keep going down also, you have to keep tapping the space bar. You can't just hold it down, which makes it a little more challenging. Um, but yeah, so it always goes back and forth. So there's never, it's never really boring. It's always, you know, it's, it's refreshing. It's more, it's more intriguing to have a little switch. So those are the characters. This is the asteroid belt, um, the planets on the top, um, the clouds on the bottom, and here's the different variations of the rocks. So that is pretty much how to play. That's the assets. And so throughout this class, Kurea and I don't really have the biggest background when it comes to game design or just the creative process that goes along with it. So for us, it was really, really challenging. It was hard to keep up. I think we were lost maybe 50% of the time in class, if anything more, which is totally okay. But um, we definitely learned a lot. It was very, it was very eye opening. But um, yeah, like I said, we're not the most knowledgeable. Um, so for us, it was like, and I know we're, at, oh, sorry, one more thing. I know I'm not supposed to, or I don't have to really get into the coding, but the coding also went, is, was just 
well, it was, it's overwhelming. As you can tell, I, I was pretty overwhelmed. But um, for us, just the creative process was kind of like, what's the best way to explain it? Like, you know, our this game, when you really think about it, there's a lot of work, but it's nowhere near the same amount of work as big games like um, League of Legends, Fortnite, Call of Duty, Minecraft, you name it. And But for us, it was like, creating this was like creating Call of Duty. And we couldn't even, we couldn't even finish without the help of Davin. Davin helped us a lot. And so thank you to Davin. Um, but anyways, we, we, something that was interesting while we were going about this was that we realized um, Unity, which is the program to, which is the program to create this game was is actually has a lot of similarities with After Effects, which is a video editing program. Um, like the position, the scale, rotation, keyframing, just the pos even even the layers being on the left side, the preview in the middle, it's pretty similar. It felt it felt a little. It was nice that it was a little comfortable for us because it resembled After Effects in some ways, but of course not, it, if anything, a lot more. Um, sorry, how do I say it? Like, there is more differences than similarities, of course. But um, yeah, no, we never really thought that video game editing, or sorry, video editing and game design could have similarities, so that was really cool. Um, during class, we, we were getting we're getting comfortable with movement, you know, and scale. Like I said, we definitely ran into a lot of problems. But at one point, we decided to utilize our background um, and create kind of an animation of what we expected to see. So here we go. This is the animation through After Effects. We got the gravity going down, the shooting star, the background, the asteroid. You know, and I would say it came out pretty spot on for the end product to what we envisioned. Like I said, thanks to Davin, of course, there's no way we could have finished it, but, oh, I do not want to quit out of that. Um, so yeah, just to um, wrap things up real quick, for both of us, um, it was a really, I, opening experience to really be hands-on with game design um there's just so much that goes on frame by frame and you have to be creating everything that happens you know what i mean it's just there's so much there's i always knew there was a lot going on but having to actually be hands-on with it is just there's so much um for kudea she said that um, it was really interesting to be able to use her graphics differently than she would usually be doing, you know, so um, Why did I say that so weird? Yeah, basically she was just it was in, it was different for her to use her graphics in a different way is what I'm trying to say um, but Yeah, so thank you everybody for a great semester it was truly i just want to say one more thing it was truly inspirational to see everybody be so passionate about um video game design i could definitely tell pretty much everybody seemed like they loved what they were doing and i think that's the most important thing when it comes to anything um including video game design so um i hope everybody keeps at it uh yeah i hope Everybody has a good remaining s semester, rest of the year, and so forth.